I'm feeling it today. You know what I mean? Do you have mornings like that? I bet when you do, you don't turn the camera on and talk into it, right? It's 20 to 9. I was having weird dreams about being in Russia on a train and my GPS watch letting me down. It was weird. I've got my coffee, so let's do that. This might be the answer, you know. Hmm. So I've noticed my diet's getting worse again. It slipped back into breakfast cereal, chocolate, biscuits, toast. And I was doing my writing, mentioned that in my morning pages, and I was like, yeah, I'm not eating well, but I don't feel bad about it. But I think what's happening is it's starting to make me feel bad. You know, didn't get up the hill of beans yesterday either. So, yeah, when the habits start to slip, the mood starts to go down. So it's pretty clear what I need to do. Get the diet back on track. Get up that hill. Oh, I've got a coffee meeting this afternoon with some masons, which doesn't excite me greatly, I have to say. Maybe nice, you know. It's just that getting out of the house thing, isn't it? And if I'm not careful, the anxiety of the gig tomorrow night is going to eat me up a little bit. I think I've got a piano lesson tomorrow as well. And I haven't practiced piano, I don't think, since my last lesson. So I'm wondering if my actions are speaking louder than my... what I thought my desires were. Do I really want to learn piano? I do, I think I do. Why am I not practicing? That's the question. Piano's just there. <laughs> I brought it in here to make it as easy as can be. And I'm still not doing it. So I'm hoping that my coffee, my writing, making a video here when I don't feel like it, hoping those things will lift me up a bit into feeling better. I've got a shopping trip to do as well, which is pretty bad at the best of times. So I need to find some kind of strength. I get strength from my daughter, actually, just watching her go about her life in a way that makes me quite proud. So that's a good thing. I'll do my usual. I'll just keep showing up for this. I'll do my writing. I'll post it all. And then... I like to play some guitar actually and just get my fingers moving. Practice a few songs for tomorrow night. Get myself ready. And start looking forward to it. Because normally that's what happens is the anxiety kicks in and then it it can turn to excitement. I think those two feelings are are very similar, just with different names. Or maybe anxiety is like excitement with one piece of the puzzle just taken away. You know, I think that way sometimes about hate and love. Love is the full picture. Hate's just when you remove one piece and it becomes corrupted or incomplete. Don't know. But yeah, if I can turn anxiety into excitement, which can happen through practice. A bit of practice. Or by watching Glastonbury content. That seems to be getting me feeling looser about playing music as well. Squid, by the way. I've been loving watching the Squid videos from Glastonbury. A new band for me. Reminds me a bit of LCD sound system. But watching that drummer sing and drum and his vocal expression in a MAGA zine, it's just... I just love it. So... Maybe I'll watch that today or tomorrow or both. <laughs> I 
Right, I'm going to crack on, get my writing done. Still haven't sent that. My cult pens, Twisbees. Simply because getting to the post office here is such a faff. I nearly did it yesterday when I was buying chocolate after a meeting. You know, I was going out to a meeting yesterday after the evening from Masonic practice and there was only one other guy there, which was a shame because it meant I had to sit with him for 20 minutes pointlessly. And then I came out and went to the co-op and I bought a Snickers bar and some caramel galaxy chocolate just because I was feeling tired and low. And I had that with me, I had it in my bag, but there were people queuing behind me and I just couldn't bring myself to ask if they could open the post office for me. Don't like it. Anyway, have a great day. See you later.